back at the life and legacy of Rush Limbaugh is New York Times bestselling and author, as well as Reagan biographer and historian Craig Shirley joining us again for a second straight day. Craig, I appreciate you coming back on. I know that you, you knew Rush a little bit, but, but you have a unique uh, something that you bring to this, this story. James Golden, Rush Limbaugh's longtime producer, with him years and years. You guys had a relationship. Uh, and, and you still do today. You still do today. Thank and Rush, you. By the way, Rush's staff, unlike so many in this business, whether it's TV or radio, they hung around. They hang around. They, Golden's been with Rush for years. Yeah, and before that, he had a, Rush had a producer for years that uh, passed away from cancer, and then James became Rush's longtime producer. And James and I have been friends and remain friends to this day. I, when I wanted to get some things done, as you know, you want something done in electronic broadcasting, you go through the producers. Right. And I dealt with James. We dealt with James a lot. And my wife Serena and I went down to. West Palm Beach, and uh, we, we spent an afternoon with the James, a lovely afternoon. Uh, he remains, you know, a friend to this day, and of course, uh, uh, and uh, he's just, a, just, just a swell person whatsoever. Mm -hmm. You can't say enough about him. The loyalty is so rare in any business, but particularly in the broadcast business. Um, it's interesting to me that Ronald Reagan decided to comment on Rush Limbaugh shortly after he left the Oval Office. Reagan uh, said that, you know, where was a guy like this, you know, 30, 40, 50 years ago? Um, in <laughs> I could have used him. Right? Didn't exist, could have used him. Uh, Rush Limbaugh's career really started in the late 80s uh, as Reagan's time in the Oval Office was ending. But boy, Rush Limbaugh changed the, uh, changed the dialogue around conservatism in America, didn't he? Yeah, Rob, this is a very interesting question. Where does Rush Limbaugh belong in the panoply of American conservatism? I wouldn't put him up there with, uh, with, with Reagan or uh, Buckley or Goldwater, but I would put him up there with, uh, with Newt Gingrich and, maybe, and, and many, many uh, conservative authors. No doubt that he was important to American conservatism, especially back in the 90s, especially during the 94 campaign, giving voice to uh, Russia's campaign, to uh, do, uh, do a Newt's campaign, to uh, bring a Republican Congress to Washington, which he was successful at doing. And Limbaugh was an important and integral part of that campaign. Uh, but, but the good news about Rush Limbaugh was that, was that it, the, he was measured by his success, and he was followed by, as I recall, in 1974, 75, 740 different radio talk show hosts in America, all all labeled as baby rushes right uh, and so 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 that was a measurement of Limbaugh's success was that he was imitated by so many talk radio hosts all across the country and later electronic media and uh, newsmax and yeah. uh, Fox TV and others is that now the, these the, the conservative media is a is a huge dynamic industry. It wasn't back in 1988 when Reagan sent the letter to Rush Limbaugh when, and when Reagan revoked the Fairness and Broadcasting law, which allowed Rush to begin to flourish. Which was so key. That was such a key move, exactly. Craig. I wish we had more time. Um, it's, it's just amazing. Rush Limbaugh had a constituency every week of 25 million listeners. That'd be the third or fourth biggest state in the country. Uh, so he was, you know, he was a force. He was a power. And you're right. I'm not sure Newsmax exists today without him blazing the trail, much like Marconi did for radio way back when. A, exactly. quick, a quick stat, and then we got to run. But in the late 80s, there were 150 talk radio stations. Today, 2021, there's over 4,000 in America. Amazing. Yeah. It's astonishing, isn't it? Yeah. The explosion of conservative thought it in is. America today is just astonishing. And Limbaugh deserves credit. He is he does. partially responsible. He does. He's largely responsible, not entirely, Craig, we got but it. We got largely responsible for the growth of conservative thought in America he today. He is. Craig Shirley, my friend, always great having you on. I appreciate your perspective. We'll see you again soon. Thanks, Rob. Thank All right. You. More Wake Up after the break. Stay with us. Closed captioning brought to you by Pray.com, the number one app for daily prayer and bedtime Bible stories.